For a century, our government has tried to prevent financial crisis by guaranteeing deposits and regulating risk-taking by banks. It hasn't worked. Banks promise depositors and short-term lenders that they can always get their money out. But banks never have the cash on hand to pay everyone at once. So if there's ever a run, banks fail. Lehman Brothers failed. Not because its assets were particularly risky, but because it was leveraged 30 to 1 and couldn't find new lenders to pay off its old ones. In place of regulations that haven't worked, we can design a financial system that is immune to crisis. Regulators' current efforts would be rendered irrelevant and obsolete. An equity-financed bank isn't susceptible to bank runs because all of its deposits are backed by treasury bonds or interest-paying reserves. There is no short-term debt to worry about. 100% of its money comes from equity. Investors could sell shares to someone else but couldn't demand their money back from the bank. Share values might fall, but there wouldn't be runs resulting in bankruptcy. Best of all, powerful regulatory bureaucracies would no longer need to dictate how banks invest their money. Competition would flourish. The politicization of our financial systems in favor of the well-connected would become a thing of the past. Once our government stops subsidizing debt and recognizes that institutions with abundant amounts of capital are safe, banks can be liberated from their regulatory stranglehold. The result would be a better financial system for all of us.